people that they are friendly and helpful. You get lost somewhere in the Garden State, you ask somebody for directions, you will get directions whether they know where the place is or not. <laughs> you go two lights, make a right, you can't miss me. Good luck. Where'd you send them? Back to Connecticut. I got lost coming here, I'm not making this up. I got off the highway, and then I got on this little road, and then I got on the long road, and then I finally pulled over and I asked somebody, excuse me, can I take this? There's a theater up the street, can I take this road down to the theater? The guy said, I don't give a shit, go ahead if you want. <laughs> Actually, I use Waze. Anybody have to use Waze? Applaud if you use the Waze app. It's a great app because it tells you where the cops were. Because when you get there, they're gone. You want to know why? They have waves. Oh, well, they found me, got to move. It's a bit because it takes you, if you're in traffic, it takes you off the highway and it brings you down little rows and back rows. It, it actually went through people's backyards. I pulled into this guy's driver, it took me through the, the driver, and then it took me through a cemetery. I'm driving through a cemetery and I'm halfway through and all of a sudden it said, you have reached your final destination. voice inside the, the, the same thing. It does, in which you, I tried it, but now it's just telling me, slow down, you're going too fast. Okay, now, use your blinker. Get off your phone. Will you slow down, please? I guess you had to be there. Oh, what a week of heaven. I went to a Dunkin' Donuts. Who's, who's, we've all got the Dunkin' Donuts, am I right? I went to a Dunkin' Donuts, this is a true story, not making one word up, this really happened. I went to a Dunkin' Donuts around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was only very good, there was no one there, just one kid behind a counter, a young kid. And, and, and I think it might have been his first day. Because I walk in, and I say to this kid, I'd like to get a dozen donuts. He said, well, uh, how many do you want? <laughs> and at first I thought he was kidding. And I gave him the fake laugh. I said, <laughs> a dozen. He said, how many? And at that point, I could tell that he had no idea. So I pointed to the side. I said, $8.99 for a dozen. That's 24 donuts. <laughs> was the wrong thing to do. I should have said 36. I, I didn't want to get him in trouble. This really happened. I stopped him at 18. I did. I said, you know, it's really 18. He said, I thought so, man. I'm making this up. Crazy. I like to shop. I went to a dollar store. You ever shop at a dollar store? Aren't dollar stores great? I walk into a dollar store, I can afford everything. In fact, I ask people, do you need anything? I'll pay you. <laughs> Pick out anything you want. I got it. You ever see someone you know at a dollar store? Before they see you, you drop all your stuff. <laughs> and you just walk up to them. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I was across the street at the bank. I just saw you walk in. I just came in to say hi. <laughs> Now the reason I bring up the dollar store, and, and applaud, please help me out with this. Applaud if you see this. They sell pregnancy tests at dollar stores. Somebody help me. Am I right? Did you see it? Could you believe it? One dollar. I think I'm what the hell. And I read the instructions, what you do for a dollar is you, is you pee on it, and then you wait nine months and it works. Google it. I love Google. How many people out there Google? We all Google, we all Google. Isn't Google amazing? No matter how bad you spell a word, it knows what you're looking for. You can actually type in Z-X-W-Q-Y. Did you mean Robin? Yes! Yes! I meant Robin! How did you know? Can you see me? No, but Facebook can. Who's on Facebook? Anybody? Everybody. Everybody has a Facebook page. My mother, she's 95 years old. She has a Facebook page. She doesn't have any friends. We're all dead. But she, she, she. It's a joke! My mother
Linda lives in Florida. Anybody ever go to Florida? Maybe you've seen her. She has a hobby. She likes to drive around during rush hour to make other people late for work. She calls me. She called me. You want to hear a true story? She called me just recently. Called. She called me, asking me for my phone number. <laughs> She's very Italian. This is my mother. She's very Italian. She calls me up. She calls me by uh, my Italian name. She'll say. She called me up just recently. She said, Massimo, what's your phone number? Mom, you just called me on it. No, your phone number no work. Every time I call, the lady say it don't work. But you just call me. Give me your phone number. It don't work. Okay, it's nine three six. Wait a minute. I gotta go get a pencil. You got a pencil? I got a pencil. Nine three six. The pencil no work. Got another pencil? I got it. Okay, nine three six. Okay, wait. Slow down. Nine three six. Nine three six. Nine three six. No, mom. Just one nine three six. Okay, one, nine, three, six, nine, three, no, mom, it's not three, nine, three, six. Okay, three, nine, three, six, one, nine, three, no, mom, look, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna fly down there. I'll write it down when I get there. It'll take less time. I wish I was making that up. I love her. She calls me up. She calls me up asking me to help her find something in the house. I can't find my pocketbook. Did you look on your shoulder, Mom? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. I love her. She's 95. She's really 95. It's good to be here. Oh, you guys are a nice crowd. I love you people. You're really nice. better than last week. Last week, I had to perform in front of 650 Jehovah's Witnesses. All they wanted to hear were knock-knock jokes. 